pure love of God to go through Jesus. Jesus said, uh, you know, obtain your pure love of God. Yeah. He said he's a way of truth and light. Well, that's what somebody in West Turkey said to Jesus. Who? Oh. That's what somebody in West Turkey said to Jesus. Said. No, that's what Jesus said, not somebody said to Jesus. You read the Bible? Who wrote it? Who wrote the Holy Spirit of God? Oh, no, who wrote that? Who, who made you? It? Let's go back to the beginning. Where'd you come from? I'm, I'm unborn. Oh, you're unborn. You need to be born again. Well, I can already am. You said you're unborn. Are you saying that? Because if you were born again, you would understand the Spirit of God. I think you're confused. I know who you are. No, you're I know who I am in Christ. No, but you don't know, know who you are. Okay, in eternity. Who where where do you go in eternity? I am eternity. Really? Yeah. So you're a God? No. I'm a part of God. I'm a servant of God. How can you put a part of God if you don't know Him in the Spirit? How do, you, how do you know that I'm how do you know, how do you know he's not? How do you know he's, he's not? How do you know you're not? You're not part of the spirit. If, if because you're twisting words, basically, what you're doing. No, actually, you're confused. No, no, you're, I'm not, here I am. Sir, you're confused. Hey, would you like to be eternal, straightened out? Eternal, eternal, eternal yeah, straighten me out. Hang on, straighten me out. Okay. Okay. Straighten me out. We're spirit. Uh, okay. We're not the body. I'm, I'm a Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit. Perhaps. No, there's no perhaps about it. That's great. So where does the Spirit come from? Where does the Spirit come from? Spirit. Where did the Spirit come from? It doesn't come from anything. The Spirit is oh. always here. So, evolution. No, just happens. I, no. You're, you're making words up. I'm no. But I'm trying to figure out the basis of where. I know, is. but if you can hear me and be receptive, I then you can actually understand. I'm trying to understand. Okay. 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 What God is, is, the Spirit is unborn. The, the body, the material world, is created and destroyed, but spirit is unborn. There's no. Now where do you get that? At? There's no material time in the spiritual world. Baseline for all. So you're not born with a spirit. You are spirit. Okay. So is that spirit born again, or is it just dead? You're eternal. Oh, you're eternal. I'll, I'll give you that. Yes. Eternal in heaven. You're yeah. eternal. I am yep. eternal. We're all eternal. But is your heaven eternal? Is your eternal life in heaven or hell? We're already eternal. All right. So where do you get in heaven? Where are you? I already. We already have our eternal. I'm curious. So where it do means you, we have, we live eternally. I'm curious. Where do you get that from? You're you're saying ah. you're eternal, right? Yeah. I'm saying where do you get your where do you get it from? I know where I get it from. I'm asking where you get yours from. The original writings of God teaches people how to realize the truth. Of what themselves. original writings of God? What is that? Well, like I like okay, like I can say, like I can point to the Bible and say this is where it comes from. But, well, okay. Can you do okay. the same? Okay. Can you do the same? What I can do is take a book that God wrote with His own hands, not through a person that you have it? blind faith in. What is it? Bhagavad Gita. What is that? That's the original writings of God. Who wrote it? God. Is there a picture of that? Hi. He also wrote eight verses in His last appearance. And these are his eight verses that he wrote in his last appearance. So you're saying your spirits are born of your spirit. Well, we are spirit. I got my spirit. Uh, you are. You, it's not like you are. You are spirit. I am now, yes. You always were spirit. You might have realized that you are spirit when you accepted Jesus as your personal savior, and that's cool. But you always are spirit. You're never the body. So what happened to your mom and dad when they died? The, the, the spirit that what they happened to your mom and dad when they died? They are eternal. We all are eternal. Where do they go? It depends on their consciousness at the time of death. So you get to pick where you go? It depends. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't add words. Because that just doesn't... Also, my, but no, if my conscience says but, but I go saying, here... But what I'm saying is... What, what Bhagavad Gita, not what I said, what Krishna said, what God said, is at the time of death, the consciousness created by the living entity carries him to his next body. So the Hare Krishna. So, so, you, so, you, so you can believe whatever you want. No. So if, if Hare your Krishna consciousness this, doesn't want to serve God at the time of death, then you, where need, do you, go? you need another material body. Where do you go? It, it is there's billions of universes, billions of planets. Did he, did, did billions of different species. And it says that in here? Billions of different species, yeah. 
Yes, we did. Hare Krishna over himself self after he came back into spiritual what, what life. What does Hare Krishna? Well, you just said See, something that doesn't Jesus, make sense. Jesus, Jesus. You just said something that doesn't mean shows that you don't understand something. What what did Hare Krishna? What is Hare Krishna? Do you know what Hare Krishna is? When he died, he came back as a Are spirit. you speaking about Krishna? No, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna is not a person. Who is it? Hare Krishna is, it means love of God. Pure love it means lovers of God. What does love, love of God mean? Lovers of God is Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna means lovers of God. All right, so you said, I, 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 I have a question. So, so, so <laughs> Jesus wants everybody to become a Hare Krishna, a lover of God. Who wants that? That's what Jesus wants. He wants everybody to attain the love of God. So you know who Jesus is? I mean, do I know he shows everything perfectly? No. That's he not what he is. Do you know who he, he is? He showed himself to over 500 people. Oh, well, I do he know that he rose again for the He dead. is a person, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. rose again to pay for your soul. We, we, we accept we him as a pure servant of God. Do you? He's totally he is the son of God. 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 So we agree with that. Yeah, we agree with that one. He is the son of God. So, so I'm trying to get this conscious thing. Out. So, so when you, so when you pass, when you pass, when you pass, when you pass, right? If if you have pure you, love of God, you, you go, just want you go to where? Love God. No, no, no. I'm asking. Let me ask. Let me ask my question. Okay, sir. Let me ask my question. So you said when, when you die, it's whatever your conscience is. Whether if, if you believe you're Jesus, if you believe you have the Holy Spirit, you go to heaven. If you believe in reincarnation, you're reincarnated. If you believe, quite like that. Um, okay, so we're spirits. This is the matter. When we want to serve God, material energy of God, it's controlled by God, doesn't fasten the material body to you. You don't need a material body if you just want to serve God. In the spiritual world, there's no materiality. It's only spirituality. There's people there. There's there's trees there. Everything's spirit there. There's no death there. There's no disease. That's probably what you're calling them. Maybe. But anyways, the spiritual world, the kingdom of God, we'll call it. The kingdom of God, there's no material. that stuff things that die. So you're a spiritual being. We, we are spirit covered now. Just in flesh. I know, we're covered in flesh. This is a really important statement about this. This material energy is the prison house. Acid is the soul, mind is the soul, in this material dimension, because it doesn't want to serve God. It's controlled by God. So how, do, like you serve God? how do you serve God? So you're, talk, so you're telling me this tree's got a soul? Yeah. And a spirit? Yes. A living From soul. From God? Yes, we're all, every, everything's energy of God. So, so this rock over here has got a spirit of God? Why is well, why, not that's not very? Rock. But these trees aren't the intelligent. Is, the rock is not didn't, living. Didn't didn't God create man in the image of Him? And the difference between men and trees is like we can have a conversation, and I can't talk to the tree. Now, now don't get me wrong. I'm kind of new at this. Well, okay. But I mean, okay. even I understand that. So I'm not. Just, you can't sit there and tell me that I'm like a rock. I mean, so, well, well, I mean, sometimes I feel like a rock. But you, you have a you have a, a human body. It yeah. has a tree body. If you're both spirit souls within it. And, and, in, in the Bible... Yeah, that's where you lose me there, bro. Okay, okay, let me, let me quote the Bible now. Can I quote the Bible? The word is sure. Nefesh Chaya. Let me see if I can remember what verse that is in the Bible. 2-7 Genesis. Perhaps. And it, no, and no, it, no, it, it is. If you, if you go look at the Hebrew... My understanding is if you look at the Hebrew English dictionary, it says to be everything that lives is a living soul. Then why did God take the effort to create man and breathe... Lost life, 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 everything that has life is a living soul. But the human form is the only form where we can inquire into the absolute truth and, in general, transcend out of this world and back to the kingdom of God. So, what is truth? God. How do you get to God? That's what God is explaining in Bhagavad Gita. He says, Bhakti Mama Majanati Yavanda which means, one can understand me as I am, as the Supreme Personality of God, and only by devotional service. And when one is fully conscious of me by such devotion, he can enter into the kingdom of God. How do you get consciousness? We Jesus already are Christ. conscious. We, trees are conscious. Everything's conscious. That's where we're living. That's where we're going to differ. That's where we're going to differ. A dog There's a God is of all creation. Dogs can feed them in fish. Dogs can't speak to you. A dog, 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 a
walk, this walk, walk, walk through the door. Look, if I go like this, it's going to go, uh oh, fear, I got to go. Yeah. It's conscious. Okay, that's just a survival instinct. That's not, that's not the it's, spirit of God. It's conscious. This tree, if I go touch this tree, it's not going to fall over and run away. If I go chop it down, it will. If you can study uh, scientific studies and proven that it Yeah, but science is just man's explanation on, on how all anyway, this stuff works. I mean, you what's, your, what's your thoughts on healing? I mean, demons can heal. There's actually demons that can bring dead bodies back to life. That's one yogic power that demons have, have Jesus learned. Is, Jesus is brought back to life. Okay, that's fine. But my point is, is that you can, you can, uh, if, you, if you could yeah. study under the proper person, well, I don't even know if they exist today. If I'm still on this but, conscious thing, you, you, you tried to liken me to a fly, that when you poke it, it flies away. I didn't say you're a fly. But you said, said we got the same spirit. No. I said, you are a spirit soul. Maybe in the spiritual world you are and have an eternal relationship with God. And it's um, whatever. But that spirit soul and that fly body that you once had a fly body. I once had a fly body. You once had a fly body. We you're all right. progressed. You're progressed. out of your mind, bro. I know we have some fly I'm one day. I'm repeating what Krishna says. Well, and if you want to say he's out of his mind, feel free. Okay, I got it. Yeah, he's out of his mind. You can experience some suffering. I apologize for attacking God. you like that. He's no. out of his mind. Then you can experience some suffering for blasphemy. I'm just you encouraging you, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, through the person. Remember one thing, sir, and only one thing. Sir, do you have true love of God? Are you, do you purely love God? Now. You, you just said, I God? am the way, the truth, and the life. You never sin? You never sin? I can say that. I okay, sin, but I sin. No, I don't sin. How do you sin? I, I have in the past, but I don't if anymore. If you purely love God, you don't sin. For all sin, and fall short of the glory of God. Right? I, don't, I don't sin anymore. Who said that? God. All sin and fall short of the glory of God. What you're doing is you're saying Timothy is God and John is God. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say God is God. Okay. Is God. And so I'm going to say God's perfect. How do you get a relationship with God? How do you have a relationship with God? The eternal creator. Cr Krishna says. No, no. What did God say? God want, says. God says. Know. Krishna is the supreme personality of God. You might want to call him Yahweh or Allah. Uh, 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 Yahweh or Jehovah. Jehovah. Jehovah, thank you. And, and that's fine. So Jehovah. Jehovah or Yahweh did say, surrender unto me, I will deliver you from all sinful reactions, do not fear. So who's this chosen people? It, those, and that one nation is chosen by those who have anybody, any person who has surrendered to God. The God of the Bible I have is chosen somebody, people of the Jewish nation. Any person that surrenders to God. Listen, it's I not, think we it's can not sit away. just for the people that live in Israel. It's the, actually for anybody that anybody. God so he says, wants to debate you because you want to debate anybody, the Bible. I want to debate this conscious thing where you're telling me I'm like this tree. I want, you're telling me I'm like this rock. that surrenders to God. That's what I want to talk about. Is on the right need, side of the fence. And you need to surrender God to God fully protect person. I want to talk about this. Hold on, hold on. Talk. You're telling me I'm like this tree. I'm not saying that. You're you said this tree's got a spirit. Sir, 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 you're, you're, you don't down. add words to my mouth. Okay. Does so, this tree have a spirit? Yes. Taking it okay. And, and it's the same spirit that I have. You are spirit. Ah. It's, the, it's the same spirit it's of God? It's not the same person. It's the same. You're a different person yeah. from the soul. I have, this, I have the spirit of Christ in me. Right? That's what I'm telling you. I know that for a fact. Well, I'm just letting you know. I know that for a fact. I'm, I'm, I'm just know. curious. I'm letting you know that according to God, you are according, spirit. According to this guy. Christian. That, that was, this was a human being? No. Well, how did these words get on a piece of paper? Oh. Yeah. Many times. That's this guy here. Yep. He walked on this one. Yeah. He spoke this on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. That's an historical experience. Just like Jesus walked on the planet. It's a historical experience. Right. I'm still hung up on this. I'm like a rock. I mean, I've been, I'm not, I've been I'm told not that before. I'm saying that, sir. <laughs> what I'm saying right. is, please understand that you're not the body. Right. We have a body. It's not. You have a One body due to your past misdeeds. Now, do we want this right. material body that's the source of our suffering? Right. If we surrender to God, we get free from the control of material energy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you remember God at the time of death, then you go back to the yeah. spirit. Exactly. So do you believe in Satan? I don't know if he's an actual person or not, but there's plenty of devils in the, no. in the world. No. Atheists are devils. It kind of goes 
But it, but this teaches you. So I was a fly once. You had a fly body. With everything. Now, how do you know that? Because that's what Christian Like so, does. like I, like, what was what was I before I was a fly? There's a natural progression to the 8 million species before you get the human form. 8 million species? Are we, we like the pinnacle? Yeah. 400,000 human species. So, so there's 8.4 so million species. So 400,000 of those are human species. There's 8 million species. 400,000 species? Yeah. Human species? Plenty of different material. Plenty of different plants. With different 400,000 human species. So, so, so hang on a second. I got to hold on. 400,000. All the different ones. There's different plants. Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. All right. Let's let's say there, let's, there's another. There's, let's say there's. Where do you get that from? Because with all of the science that you were that you were talking about earlier, they still have. I'm not a fan of what Krishna says. I'm not such a fan of what you know. I'm not a fan of what Krishna says. I'm not such a fan of what you know. If you go to empiric science, they're dealing with all defectors. I think you can admit that too. We have defects. Krishna doesn't have detail. But this does teach you how to realize him. And if you do apply it, he will reveal himself. You can literally see God, talk to him, play with him. I can do that now. Well, then you're doing good, so what's the trouble? So you don't there is no trouble. I just, I, 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 I mistakenly thought you said I was like a fly I, uh, or a tree or a rock. And I was just I like, yeah, I'm, say that you I'm once, one of a kind. You once had that kind of body. But now you have a human body that can inquire into the absolute truth. That can go for God realization. Those species, they don't know. They don't have that inquiry into the absolute truth. So, what's the ultimate final position? Oh, yeah, they don't have to apply to a category. From the human form to human form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The human form, yeah, yeah, yeah. the perfection is where you're from. 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 So but what's the final form? And how do we I get to that? Goal? Did we ever get a goal? What's, what's the final form? I live back in Butte, Montana, world, and no I'm material. from, but I'm you from Youngstown. Are, you are, you, what you, you already are you, I, I, I but you live cover in this material right. body. Yeah. Right, and right. Also, I understand what you're saying. You also have a subtle body that was yeah. called a false ego okay. that misidentifies the real self with the material body. So we verifying the consciousness. You actually realize all this, and then you actually can return back. Before you were, what's your name? Okay. Before you were that guy. What were What were you? You don't know what you were. My last life, I don't know. What do you think you're going to be next? Um, at this point, I don't care. I just want to serve you. It's definitely an interesting time. You're a risk for your own What was your born name? Oh, yeah. What did your parents do? I do want to share this, something productive. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. But I do. For, <laughs> for, for, for me to understand. Listen, you're trying to teach, you're trying to show me this, but I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. I, I'm trying to, and you're telling me that your name is, say it again? And I'm just kind of curious as what it was before. I've seen a lot. So, okay, there we go. That's progress. And, and this here, the last, the last time God appeared on the planet, he said that the only religion in today's age is glorifying God by the utterance of his holy name. So by the ch this particular mantra is stressed by God in the original language. God himself actually said this is the process. And the people that have the symptoms of realized souls, people that have, have attained pure love of God, totally pure love of God, they are also stating that this is the, the process for us to develop that, to awaken the pure love of God that's dormant in the heart. To the chanting of the name of God. Now, Timothy said God is his name. Is God, Timothy in the Bible? Talking about Timothy in the Bible? Yeah. So God So is, you, you jump back and forth from the Bible I'm to this? I'm trying to help you guys understand this very important point. So, God is his name. God is his name. The name of God is God. So when you chant the name of God, you're associated with God. Holy. And you, your consciousness becomes so purified that you actually, and gradually, gradually, He reveals Himself to you. And the love of God is awakened, dormant in the heart of all the men. So by chanting that this Hare Krishna when you, mantra, you awaken that pure love of God. Hare Krishna. Like it says in the Bible, we should pray unceasingly. And the best prayer, according to the last avatar, who said that. God himself wrote only eight verses in his last appearance. And he said, right here, 
Um, I got I got one question for you, and then I'm good. I'm good to go. Real, I just real quick, if it's okay. Go ahead. He says I have no. Oh God, I have no desire to accumulate wealth, nor desire beautiful women, nor do I want any number of followers. I only want your causes, devotional service in my life, birth after birth. Okay. So that's the pure prayer, and that's exactly what the Hare Krishna mantra means. It gets, it means God, please engage me in your service. That is what God is saying. Is the the, the process of chanting this mantra. It's the process to develop, to awaken the pure love of God. The only thing that will save you is pure love of God. So now when you, so when you teach, preach, whatever you're doing right now, you refer back to the Bible. Uh, no, I, I refer back. Well, you did. To my, the, you did. You referred to Timothy. That's but, in the Bible. But, but listen, listen to me for a moment, please. I, I would refer back to the Word of God. And if any other book it um, correlates with that, I accept that, part of it. How old is this book? That's uh, 5,000 years old. How do you know? Um, there's actually a disciplic succession. Going back just like, I think the Bible has some of the So do you believe in evil forces? Well, any living entity that wants to go against God is you know, being kind of evil. How do you follow up the grace of this? How do you fall out of grace with this guy? Whenever we don't want to serve God, we're out of His grace. Just like the sun shines. How do you get out of His blessings and grace and watch that? It's like the sun is shining. The sunlight is available for everybody. It, I'm, I'm answering your question. Okay. The sun the sun is shining for all living entities. But that, that thing that's under here, that's under here, isn't getting the sun right. But it can, if it wants. So what is that? What is that with God's mercy and grace? The difference is service to God and not service to God. That's the only difference between living in the dark or the light. That's it. It's the between grace and mercy. I don't know. You might have a, a deeper insight on that. It seems like the same. But maybe you have, have some different ideas as to that I just don't have my mind with the way you're thinking. I like the fact that when you were trying to preach this to me you went to my Bible I like that I appreciate that oh, I, I like that because I, I gotta tell you something if my preacher ever went to this to, to relate or to, to I'd have to kick him to the curb so I appreciate it thank you alright Phil look up the difference between grace and mercy well maybe you could tell me because uh, you're using maybe some different mercy, ideas mercy is not getting what you deserve the grace is getting what you deserve what you okay well, the last avatar was the most merciful avatar when God appeared last, he just gave pure love of God to everybody and anybody that deserved it or not. That, well, it's, it's, God offers that. Yeah. Anybody can have it. You're right. You're anybody right. can have that. You're right. You're right. He, he, he is that way. He, he wants, wants to you want, you're right. He wants us back in the spiritual world more than we want to go back. I agree with you there, sir. And you're accessing his all that through Jesus, and that's perfect. We don't want yeah, to change that. That's the only way. That's what that's what somebody wrote. Not somebody. Somebody wrote that in the Bible. <laughs> you guys are running with full speed ahead. But I'm um, cool. Uh, it's, it's it's fine. But it's not only. I don't agree with your philosophy. I hit, um, I respect that. The difference is the difference comes down to this realization. I know. I don't know why. If you realize that the sun's warm, well, somebody, I realize we don't agree, so I gotta go. <laughs> and somebody says that the sun is cold. You know, anybody anybody can realize the truth if they want to follow the teachings of God. That's always available. Uh, I only got one shot. So you believe in the Bible, right? I never said that. You quoted the Bible, though, right? Though that those two quotes, I I in Timothy. Those two quotes add up with this book. Okay, but they were in Timothy, right? The book one, of Timothy. One, one was in Timothy. Okay, so you have used some of the Bible, though, right? Some of the Bible does add up to this. Only some, not all of it, though, I right? I didn't say not all of it. So some, though, right? Yep. Okay. So when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, back back just, up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm, I'm quoting the Bible, though, wait, right? Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong with that? You sh to be more accurate, you could say, whoever wrote the book of John wrote that Jesus said. Okay. Now for you to go, Jesus said, that's quite a jump. But Jesus did say that. <laughs> you were there? You heard it? No, I read the Bible, and John... Can you hear me? You're you're, saying, I don't think you're hearing me. You're, then what you're saying is, whoever wrote that, is a perf perfectly wrote it. 
but no. he wrote it because he heard it from God. And he was inspired by oh, God. Okay, you guys are making that jump, and I'm not. So you don't, you just don't want to... I don't need to. I have the original okay. writings of God. All right. that where I get... where It's a science. It Actually, you can realize God by applying it. So I don't need to make a... What I'll okay. call... What I'll call... That's please fine. forgive me. A blind faith jump. Okay. That's fine. So you quoted part of your book. I just I just request that I part, quote part of mine, right? What? Is that okay? What's you quoted part of your book. You referenced part of your book. Yeah. Here? Here while yeah, we're but, talking? But I'm, but I'm not going to say that, you know... Um, no, I'm asking you if I can just say something out of my book. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, I've, but, we've but respectfully you, listened more, to you. more accurate right? would be is whoever wrote the book of John wrote that Jesus said this. Okay. All what? right, let's skip that over that part. Isn't that accurate? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's accurate. Now, now I'm asking, though, okay. if I can just quote part of my book. Is that all right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah? If you wish. You I am the way, the truth. Free speech. Area. Okay. Just, All right. Hey, no, wait, wait. Can I kind of quote? Yeah, yeah. An incar incarnation of God named Vyasa. I don't think he wants to hear this verse. I don't know why. An incarnation weird. of God named Vyasa. Because every time I start a, to say the I'm verse. answering his question. Okay. He asked me a question. Right. Right. You're, you're, you're making right. a jump. You just made another no, jump. No, I'm quoting my, my no, book. No, your other jump was you, 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 you did what's called what's being disrespectful. Oh, I'm because, disrespectful. Because you assume something. You assumed that I didn't want to hear your verse. I was. You said yes, his, though, when you, I asked you. you. I was answering his question. Okay. All right. Go and ahead. You may, and I'll you wait. May, and I just want to just share this. Yeah. Because if you want to, if you want to be more effective in your preaching and mm -hmm. get other people on side with with the way you're thinking, respect is really critical. Appreciate that, Tim. Thank when you. you. When you assume that I don't want to hear your verse and even voice it. Um, but you, being, but you cut me off. So I'm you answering his question. No way. Whoa. He Did, cut. These two were witnesses when I started quoting my verse. I'm sorry, sir. Remember I think that? You're going a little weird. Right I started now. quoting my verse sir, out of the Bible. Sir, he and, asked. Then he asked and me. You cut question. me off. Remember that? Oh my God. You did. You did. Am I right? How you doing, two man? people here Welcome saw that. For I am the way, the well, truth, I think and the these life. Two people would agree. No one comes to the Father but by through me, right? Okay. Did you ask? I am me the question? way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. That's what Jesus said. That's so what we're just trying to in, say, if you want to get to heaven, whoever wrote you go the book through Jesus. Said. Take a book, bud, if you like. All right. I got my bag with me. I got, I got These two are little paper bags. You heard the word of God. I gave it to you. We agree to disagree. Thank you for your time. Well, you heard the word of God, too? Yep. I disagree. But Respectfully, but when, when, disagree. When are we going to inquire into the absolute truth? That's what the humans oh, do. Oh, we did. We inquired for how many minutes? How many minutes did we inquire? We heard your book. We heard you talk. I respectfully well, listened but, to you, but, actually. Human life is meant for God realization. Appreciate that. Jesus was the way, the only so, way. So, That's so how question. you get to heaven. Quick, here's, the, here's, the, here's the barometer. Ready for the barometer? What, what, What's the barometer? Right? What does God look like? What's your God look like? What's your God look like? Yeah. He's such an ananda. He has a peacock feather. He his he is spiritual form. Strongly disagree. Bliss. Respectfully I, disagree. Okay, what does he look like? God to me is tell me in, your realization. Is, God tell lives in tell here. me the give me the proof that your process is it works. What is your you, realization? I can tell you what he's done in my life and exactly. my Exactly. Beautiful, but what does he look like? I know what he looks like. Tell me. You're not you're not interested. Bottom line, yeah. See, here you go again. No, you guys I know. I'm make this is another disrespectful thing. Uh -huh. no. We're disrespectful. Disrespect. Even though we sat here and listened you're, to you for 20 minutes, you're, 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 I have a 28 video listening to you. Have a good one, dude.